Once a cadet's best shot group can be covered by a quarter, it's time to introduce them to sight adjustment. Target rifles have very precise sights that can be adjusted so shot groups form at the center of the target. There is an elevation knob for up and down adjustments and a windage knob for left and right. The direction of movements is marked on the sight knobs. A general rule of thumb is to move the rear sight in the direction you want the shot group to move. If the group is too far to the left, then the sight must be moved to the right. Each knob increment is called a click. On the Daisy 853, six clicks will move the shot group one scoring ring on the BMC target. In two clicks, we'll move it one scoring ring on the 10 meter competition target. Higher end sights, such as the El Gamo sight, require 12 clicks per scoring ring on the BMC target and four clicks on the competition target. To teach sight adjustment, first have cadets fire a five shot group. Bring the target back from downrange and determine the center of the five shot group, disregarding any stray shots that fall outside of that group. Count the number of scoring rings from the center of the target to the center of the group. You will do this for both the windage and elevation. Take the number of scoring rings and multiply it by the number of clicks per scoring ring. Using those values, adjust the sights and the direction you want the shot group to move. Remember, cadets should be responsible for calculating and adjusting their own sights. Holding off or Kentucky windage, where you purposefully aim the rifle to compensate for poorly adjusted sights is not good practice. Always adjust your sights to the center of the target.